Abby, she likes to give a kiss on the gifts cheek. I see. Gibbs kiss Abby on the cheek. Oh, okay. Well, the way around. Okay. Do you think she is like a, a, a boss, a friend, a father figure, all of them, or one of them? I think it's mostly, um, it's it's very familial. It's, it's it, Abby lost her father, is dead, and Gibbs' daughter is dead. So I think they fill in that for each other. It's, mm -hmm. it's very, um, very fatherly to her. What was the most revealing scene for Abby this season, this new season 11? Oh, I don't know if we've gotten to, to the revealing Abby scene yet. Then which territory you, sh you wish to go? Which place you wish to go? The, the, the writers haven't gone yet. I, I like to, uh, to get into more of Abby's background. We had the one last season where we actually met Abby as a little girl. I think that's they're all very fascinating. Like anything more about her family, about her upbringing. I think I, I, the fans want that too. And like find out everything about Abby because I don't know. New Orleans. That's funny. That's where you were born, right? I was born in New Orleans, yes. And they're going to be a spin-off about you. And your... Abby was born in New Orleans as well. Okay, so how, how are, you, are you involved with that uh, spin-off? Did you talk with uh, Mark and, and Larry about it? About what's, uh... We've talked to Gary. Gary. Well, I've talked to them briefly about it. I really don't know what's going on with it. But of course, like right when the news broke, everybody was kind of like looked at me because I'm <laughs> from New Orleans. Abby's from New Orleans. So we'll see. You know, it's mm -hmm. Um, the song you wrote, uh, that you wrote is, uh, uh, you said, somebody saved you? Somebody saved, saved you, you. Yeah. Well, How can you tell me a bit about the genesis of the song that it was, you know, how you wrote it and, and, uh, recording it and everything? Somebody Saved You is such an important song to me because I wrote it, um, in homage and as a love letter to, uh, first responders, uh, firefighters, paramedics, anyone that you see during disasters all over the place that are going in and pulling people out and saving lives. Um, I have such respect for them. I just it, it, military, law enforcement, like everyone who's saving lives. So it's just, it's a big love letter to all first responders everywhere. It's a really special song to me, and I hope everybody downloads it. Mm -hmm. Jenny, you. This is a short movie you just did, right? Can you tell me also, uh, you know, how this idea was born to do this movie, and what was the response so far? Um, loveischanginghistory.com is this project that myself and Lance Bass um, are involved in that benefits the Trevor Project. And the Tre Trevor Project is very, very near and dear to my heart. It's a, um, it's a, a number and a place where if you are an LGBT youth that is either being bullied or especially if you're suicidal, you have you know help out there and someone to talk to you and someone that can help you through that and not judge you and really help navigate through all that really tough stuff. So Lance Bass and I co-directed these two little films, and if you go to loveischanginghistory.com, um, every time you share one of the videos from the site, AT&T gives a generous donation to the Trevor Project to keep all our good work going. Wow, okay. Yeah. Was it a long uh, project to put together, or it was a... Well, wait, so there, I mean, like I said, I co-directed with a guy named Mark Taylor, who's like the real talent. But I was like, working at NCIS and shooting at the same time, so it was just like... It was kind of a crazy few days. Mm -hmm. So, some people have left, some people are gone, some people will come. Uh, you've been steady right from the beginning. I mean, can we count on you to be on the show forever? I'm not, I do not want to be responsible for killing off Abby Shuto. I don't want to walk around with that. I don't want to have that on my, my I don't want to have that in my backpack for the rest of my life. I love my job. I love my character. I, I'm blessed every single day to be able to play that character. I think I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Last question. Um, can you share with us one mistake you've done, like we all do mistake in your life, that you really learn from? something that was at first not so positive you thought and that became actually with time a positive thing for you something you can share probably pretty much everyone i dated <laughs> <laughs> i now have very excellent taste in partners my fiance okay not so much in the end so no um <laughs> <laughs> uh, i i think um i think in in my youth and most people's youth, you, you, there's just so much that you, you know, you stress out over and you try to figure it out and all this kind of stuff. And then the longer that you're here on planet Earth, you really start realizing that, you know, you know, you have faith, be, you know, I, I, I have faith in stuff. And that even if I don't understand why things are happening right now, it's happening for a reason. It's going to work out. You relax a little bit, you know.